somehow or other our firm and, and, and it came to me were hired to keep these from deteriorating any further. I mean, this was just a technical thing, fixing the roof and making sure that the fire hydrants worked and that type of work. But then th that led me to suggesting even further, I mean, that this could be a big deal. I mean, I mean a wonderful thing for a city. Something that would add 24 seven type of life, mixed use kind of thing so that Cleveland, you know, was starting to become pretty dead. And that led to making a big drawing, which I did in one all-nighter with two bottles of wine and an ink pad and a little roller and made it what I call a nighttime plan of what this could be, showing these theaters coming alive and then adding other suggestions. These were just possibilities that over 20, 30 years, something could continue to grow. I mean, I had this big model in my office and, and Pudge Henkel used to bring movers and shakers down to see this thing and many of them would sort of look at it and say, yeah, some pipe dream of some architect or so. I think one of the biggest challenges was speed. I mean, I'm just amazed how people rallied so quickly because those, those buildings were going. Just think what we would have lost. Well, I mean, Cleveland would be so much the poorer if we didn't have Playhouse Square.